Hello, this is Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here with a video review of Transformers Generations Fall of Cybertron Sideswipe. Now, this guy is neat. Uh, there's some issues with him, as there's issues with all repaints and retools. Um, we'll talk about that. Um, so, first off, this is his weapon. Spin this, it clicks kind of difficult to turn but it's there then the barrel can pop out to create a much larger gun so that's kind of neat I believe they actually had this gun in the game um, except it was Xerox down a bit this is the one Optimus Prime used a lot um, the default for Optimus it's nice but a little bizarre this guy uh, is a retool of Jazz from the first wave, first and second waves. Um, so his wheels spin exactly the same, his transformations exactly the same, but he's got mold differences, um, ma namely the front and mostly all his armor. Yeah, pretty much, mostly all his armor. Um, so. The pieces that are different are the spoiler back here. Uh, Jazz had, uh, here's here's Jazz, so here's the front of his car, here's the top of his car. He had this with these, um, this one's straight and streamlined. More like the video game. Um, he was a playable character in the campaign in uh, War for Cybertron, and I liked him. Uh, he doesn't have a windshield for whatever reason. Um, guess Cybertronian vehicles don't really need a windshield, so it works. Um, yeah, overall, he's a decent figure. Um, Jazz, the, the mold in general, but um, there are some issues with, with it. Having some issues putting Jazz back together here. Yeah, that looks right, or close enough. So, um, I actually think I like the Jazz mold slightly better um, in robot mode. In vehicle mode, this guy wins. I don't like how you can see pretty much through his armor, see all the underlying stuff in uh, Jazz's. It just looks unfinished to me. Um, all this headlights here, all on front of Jazz. In robot mode, it looks fine. Um, in vehicle mode, it, it doesn't fit for me. This one looks great in vehicle mode. Uh, you know, he rolls fairly decently as far as these freaking wheels can stand. Um, you know, he's got, he's got the same three pegs Jazz did up here, over the side, other side. Although if you peg this into this side, like a lot of the promo pictures said, this side of the car doesn't touch the ground. <laughs> Yeah. So, setting this aside, I think this gun doesn't fit this particular figure. Uh, I think it'd look nice on Optimus Prime, or Ultra Magnus, or even Starscream. Uh, a larger figure, or uh, a more powerful figure than this guy. Just, it makes this guy look really tiny. Jazz's weapon makes him look fine. But, uh, in robot mode... Now we'll go ahead and transform this guy. Unhook that. Unpeg the arm from the door. Not unpop. Yeah, there. That's really tight on this guy. Flip these forward. There. Flip these around, flip down the arms, take the legs, fold them up, fold this, like kind of flop that around for now. This back piece will do is we'll start messing with the uh, shape of things by bending the front of this over, bringing this up, and then turning this so that the head pops into place. And everything just 
will eventually, just by moving around, fall into place. Great. This is what the problem is just having with jazz. Only on the camera. Why won't it... There we go. And then, feed out. And there you have the guy in robot mode. So, nice little side swipe figure. And just to compare him with Jazz, uh, same size figure. Uh, the chest plate, because the way it's shaped, actually looks wider. Um, it's not. It's the same exact size. It just comes out a little bit more. They they um, tilted this this uh, chest plate should be a little more straight out, but they tilted it down so that this one could be a little more tilted down to resemble the um, front of his car mode being his chest plate. Um, it, it was a dual dual purpose mold. They did it on purpose. Uh, it kind of works. I I like Jazz's robot mode. Not so not so much a fan of his vehicle form. Exact opposite on this guy. Not such a fan of his robot mode. Where I'm a big fan of his vehicle mode. Um, yeah. So his weapon clips into his hand. Like I said, it looks a little bit too big for him. His arm can all he like. <laughs> He's got a hard time supporting it, too. He just doesn't have the balance. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it's just a little too large for him. Uh, Magnus could hold this no problem. His joints are nice and tight, but this guy, not so much. So, as far as articulation goes, he's got ball and socket joint hip. Uh, he's got a little bit of a knee swivel. I wouldn't mess around with it too much, because it it's got a lot of resistance and I don't want to break anything. Uh, it's got a ratchet joint knee, which can go just over 90 degrees. Uh, his legs, or his feet due to transformation, can go backward. I wish they could go a little bit forward, but they didn't because they needed to go almost one notch more forward because they're still tilted back. Um, yeah, I've tried right just messing around with him but uh, I really don't like this guy's robot mode nearly as much as I like Jazz's. Uh, he's got ball and socket joint up here as swivel and then a hand on a ball and socket joint too which got some motion in and he's got the wheel up here. Cool design I like it but um, there's something lost in translation. I like what they tried um, I like the weapon, but not for this guy, so I'll probably give it to somebody else. Especially because I don't need a giant cannon hanging up the side of my vehicle mode. Um, although, it does show that Hasbro is putting a little more effort into making things now. They're putting a little more plastic into things. Uh, he's got more paint applications, specifically on the arm and the legs. He, this is all painted white. This is painted silver. Here, here, all over here. Uh, and then his back where Jazz has these painted, yes, and this painted. So Jazz does have paint apps, but this guy has more of them. Which is a common, a very common thing I'm seeing with this wave. They have a lot more paint applications and colors in general. It's like they uh, got their budget back or whatever. Um, not a big fan of the face. Um, it works, it's just a... Uh, not not super big fan of it. It works for the guy. Uh, again, not a huge fan of it. I like the I like the animation model of it much much better than the um, the actual toy model, the um, animation model, the video game model, much better. Uh, where is the box? By default, it's got to be this one. Just curious. See, they put the uh, video game model on the box. And like I said, they nailed the car mode. They really nailed that. Uh, they faltered on the robot mode. 
Oh, that looks really cool. But, unfortunately, we ended up getting this. But, that happens. It is what it is. Um, I will be displaying this guy in vehicle mode. I don't often do that. I only do that for... Four other trends, five, six, six other, seven other trends, six, seven, eight. But I do it for about eight different transformers I have in vehicle mode. Um, mostly Optimus Primes with add-on trailers and uh, duplicates. And uh, the actual sideswipe from the classics series is um, the um, Universe uh, sideswipe and Sunstreaker. Just because I really like the car modes, and I have about a billion of that that mold in robot mode lying around, so this guy is going to be definitely in vehicle mode to make some space for some of the shorter figures. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, that being said, I can now almost fill up my entire uh, designated shelf for these guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video review. If you have any questions about Sideswipe or his giant weapon. Please uh, give me a shout on the comments down below, and I will be happy to answer any questions you have. Um, hope you enjoyed the video review, and thanks for watching.